high stakes Senate race in Michigan, putting our next guest against incumbent Gary Peters. One of only two Senate Democrats up for re-election in a key battleground state that President Trump won in 2016. Republican John James is a West Point graduate who served in Iraq. It's great to have you with us. I'm sure President Trump is going to be in the state a lot because while he won it in 2016, it wasn't by a lot. The senator you're running against, Gary Peters, had this to say into Politico. He said part of being known is if you're on cable news and TV throwing rocks and getting attention for yourself. That's not who I am. Question, you are taking the opposite approach. That's what I wanted to ask you. Why do you think it is better to sort of be out there? Gary Peters is kind of like, you don't really hear too much about him. Well, we had to start off from absolutely nothing. We started off on a wing and a prayer. Uh, we started off with a campaign that knew we wanted to bring glory to God and help our neighbor and love our neighbors ourselves. We had to use a strategy of earned media, social media, and word of mouth. We had to put the work in. We had to put the hustle in. And that included using every single resource. Um, I wasn't the uh, establishment favorite, but because of our grassroots army who understood that a message of faith and family, God and country and service before self, who understood someone who was a combat veteran, who understood national security from a first-hand perspective, defending this country abroad, but also a business leader who understands what it takes to grow a company mm -hmm. and create jobs in Detroit. That's who we need uh, representing us on the floor of the U.S. Senate. And I'll tell you what, uh, being unknown by 40 percent of the electorate right. after 30 years as a career politician and 10 years in Washington is not a badge of honor. I plan on using every resource at my disposal, whether it be Apache or a camera, to shed light on the dark spaces in Michigan that have been underrepresented and neglected by Senator Peters and his like. Do you think that because you ran statewide in 2016, you put put in all of that investment, Has, did that have lasting uh, effects for you? Absolutely. Uh, building relationships all over the state uh, is about relationships. It's about talking to people, understanding what their concerns are. There's been so much fixation on the issues of Washington and bringing them back to Michigan. I'm going to bring Michigan's issues and take them to Washington and work with anyone and everyone to make sure that we create pipelines of prosperities into our neglected neighborhoods and our forgotten farms and represent everyone working from both sides of the table like we haven't had before. So one of the things that's been happening is uh, one of the congresswomen from from uh, Michigan, uh, in particular Detroit, Rashida Tlaib's getting a lot of attention. And one of the things that Christian Science Monitor wrote about in an op-ed was this, that many constituents are proud of the work she is doing in Washington, but others don't know who she is. Some, including diners at Jay's Cafe, think her priorities are off. They say Representative Tlaib is trying to expand the menu without mastering the basics. She's trying to cook Kung Pao chicken, say the men at Jay's, but she doesn't know how to cook grits. Do you hear some frustration from people that you are campaigning for, you know, campaigning in front of, that they wish that there was more focus on Michigan and Detroit in particular. Well, I know how to cook grits. I learned oh, when I was being raised in Detroit by, uh, by my parents who are from the South. Uh, I understand issues that Detroiters are facing each and every single day. Uh, I understand issues of crime, issues of poverty, issues of African American businesses that are trying to grow, issues of education, issues so of do you, infrastructure. Do you hear issues. that frustration? I hear the frustration every single day, but one of the part part of the frustration that that uh, I'm also hearing is the fact that uh, Michigan has the opportunity, but particularly good Michiganders in the 13th congressional district who has the opportunity, who have the opportunity for good, strong African American leadership that's qualified to represent the 13th, but in the United States Senate. The 13th can have the opportunity to have somebody who understands issues because I'm living them every day, because I go to work in Detroit, because I was raised in Detroit, and I understand the issues that Detroiters are facing. And so I have the opportunity to be able to talk to uh, farmers who are going through tough times, whether it be in, in Traverse City area mm -hmm. and, uh, and you're, you're struggling on your farm, or whether you're on the corner of Seven Mile and Livernois in the Avenue of Fashion and you have construction that's shutting your business down. We need to have people who are able to reach across the aisle, reach across the state, understand where people are coming from, and, and uh, melting into Washington is not an option. We need to have somebody who's going to use every single resource at their disposal to bring resources, money, and, uh, and attention back to Michigan, back to Detroit, and back all over the, this wonderful state. All right, John James, we appreciate you being with us. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks, Dana.